perfection and purity. Here to make a bold statement. I'm not inferior to nobody. Guess what? I know who I am. So you know it's the Jackson sisters on yeah. the scene. Represented for the passionate and pure ladies. And of course, we can't forget the passionate and pure men. Say what? Put your, let me see you put your hands up. Put your, let me see you put your hands up. Put your hands up. Yeah. 
just can't take this anymore. Why did I have to be born? Why am I here? Why do I feel like this? Where's the joy of the salvation? I feel so filthy. I feel so undone. Is this real? Are you even there? Are you even listening to me? Why do I feel like this? I need your help, God. I need your help. Why me? What did I ever do to deserve this? It's like every time I try to do good, evil is always present. If it's from the music, the girls, my friends, the weed, the cars, the money, uh, the, these voices, get it out of my head. I can't take it anymore. This is my life. Scorn, dirty. This is me. Why did I have to be here? I confess, dirty. So please, God, just, just don't come near to me. No one can see me like this. Father, just, just do something. Just, just work it out, God. Just work it out. Can you really do it? I need a change. This is me. This is me. The lifter of my head. Relationship of undeserved love showered with exquisite gifts from above. Yet still I stray. When will this end? I resent my unfaithfulness. But I see you arising, arising in my life, and I feel you.
that seek your face. I belong to a generation of them that seek you, that seek your face. I belong to a generation of them that seek you, that seek your face. I belong to a generation of them that seek you, yeah. We belong to a generation of them that seek you, that seek your face. We belong to a generation of them that seek you, yeah. We belong to a generation of them that seek you, that seek your face. We belong to a generation of them that seek you. and sickness. The Bible proclaims that there will be wars and rumors of wars, nations against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms, famines and earthquakes in various places. But don't be alarmed. This all must take place, but it is not the end. It is only the beginning. So, who will dare to rise up as a surgeon in the OR and snatch the fibrillator and shock this culture back to life? Who will dare to go against the grain, dare to be who he has called you to be with no shame and no hesitation? Who will? Who will? Who will? I will. I will shock the culture. Clear! The world says culture is a way of life, but the Christ-like culture is the way, the truth, and the life. The seed of Jesus placed within us creeps in the deep till it makes new creatures. Weaklings were we till the faith conceived us. Breaking the day to awaken freedom. Yes, we are believers. And our souls grow to cope because of Jesus. Doubts learn to <coughs> choke. Wounds learn to close. Bad habits broke, leaving excuses speechless. Our past state was hasting to taste from the plates of death. Frustrated but not able to confess all regrets, the can't help it sickness was getting fat from all disobedient acts. Yes, we paused to embrace disgrace. We were all distastefully dipped in the stench of our ignorance. See, God was there and man was here, lapsed in a big gap in between. And this painted the portrait of a race in need of a savior, then imagine our dilemma. We were both blind and ignorant, too arrogant to see that we weren't all that, and too blind to even face that fact. And we were trapped until the word darted in the darkened heart, planted in the watered part, pierced through the lies that tied our minds and spoke. Yes, it spoke to the motions of corroding flesh. It spoke to emotions evoking repentance. There and then a new nature infused us. God used the scriptures and made truly new creatures. See, the world says culture is a way of life. But the Jesus culture is the way, the truth, and the life. Let's play a game. Guess the word. One word, four letters. This word is a verb that all Christians should get used to. The Old Testament speaks about it. The Gospels speak about it. And Paul... My, oh, my, does Paul speak about it. As a matter of fact, if you were to check 1 Corinthians 13, then maybe, just maybe, 
you get to know what this word really means. Still don't know? Okay. First letter. This letter leaves little to the imagination. To a lucid mind that lacks any lurking lusts, it leads to a light that shines in the darkest corners, illuminating our faults and allowing us to live for him. First letter, L. Second letter. Obviously, the objective of this utterance is to open you up to the truth. Like Solomon, I am obligated to offer you these words of wisdom. Ordinarily, the onus would be upon you to obtain truth, but David had Nathan and Naomi had Ruth, so I'll end the obfuscation and allow you to know that the second letter is indeed O. To guess the third letter would leave you in a mess, so I'm going to move on to the fourth and relieve your stress. Eternity emanates from every fiber of its being. It is exactly everlasting. It stretches like eternity to the ends of time, enduring through life and the pains that come with it. The filth, the grime, the mock, the effluent. Undoubtedly, the fourth letter must be E. So it's where the third letter that the problem lies. Let's get into it vehemently defending the faith, ready to violate the world's laws if it calls us to. We make a vow never to vacillate between their lives and the ones that we live, refusing to live vicariously through them when we know in Christ we can find real joy. So it's with keen anticipation and a heart after God that verily I say unto thee, the third letter is indeed... S. Yes, S. L O S E. Let others share eternity. You see, all too often as Christians, we say we live in love, but we refuse to lose ourselves for the one above. L O S E. Let others share eternity. We're all too ready to rock our wares for Christ, but as Jay Z, this is him, we run away and hide. It's like the burden of the cross has been lost on us, like we refuse to realize we've been called to die by his love. L O S E. Let others share eternity. It's important to understand that to love, we've got to lose. I said to love, we've got to lose. He had to lose so that he could be bruised, so that we could be used. And when we should be used, we sit down and brood like we're not in the mood. I said to love, we've got to lose. We've got to lose to be patient. We've got to lose to be kind. We've got to lose enviousness, boastfulness, and pride. I can no longer deride others for my own satisfaction. How else can I impact them? How else can I let them know? After all, if I fill my life with those stuff, where will Christ go? So the next time you're thinking about that four-letter word, remember the S that signifies a sanctified sinner and just how important it is as a third letter. Thank you. Jesus 
pure in heart we're the ones who seek the lord unashamed we declare the word standing tall cause we are the church represent the kingdom on earth oh 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 we've got the power Jay-Z, the gospel defender, man, a real Christian, not a pretender. More to not understand, say God, for everybody, no matter what the gender. You know, say, boy, God's sweet like honey, devil sour like lime. We need to bring up Christ all the time. You know, say, as Christian, we need to make our light shine. Hear this. We need to find our passion so God and embrace our purity. So God what, what is our passion? Take so Christ in the way and then we will know. We need to find our passion so and embrace our purity. So yeah, what is our passion? Let so Christ in the way and then we will know. Find your passion, let your light so shine. Before men, that means before mankind. Seek after Christ to the Savior, divine to kid, not to the beat, but the rhyme. What is it for a man to gain the whole world? I feel lose him, so sick of diamonds and pearl. A passion must involve Christ, cause he is the way, man, the truth from his death come alive. We need to find our passion and embrace our purity. What is our passion? Let Christ lead the way, and then we will know. We need to find our passion and embrace our purity. Yeah, what is our passion? Let Christ lead the way and then we will know Purity, how can I embrace that? It's not easy and as a youth I can attest to that It's a fact, but it can be done Now let me show you now come That strength is made complete in man's weakness Trials come our way just to bring success To remain pure, we have to give up our best To keep our purity is a part of God We need to find our passion And embrace our purity What is our passion? Let Christ lead the way and then we will know We need to find our passion And embrace our purity yeah, what is our passion? Let Christ lead the way and then we will know. Find the passion and embrace our purity to worship God. Let Christ lead the way and then we will know. Find the passion and embrace our purity to worship God. Is our destiny to find the passion and embrace.